Welcome back. For our second lesson, we're going to begin again at the Build tab and at the Course Content. And we're going to return to our Assessments tool by clicking Assessments under the Course Tools. Previously, we had created Quiz 1. We're now going to add some questions to Quiz 1. From this viewpoint, what I would like to point out is this item right here. This is called the Action Links item. Clicking this gives us a variety of options of properties and things that we can do to our quiz. We can go to the assessment, we can edit the properties, we can preview the assessment, and last time we had discussed showing or hiding the item. When there is no questions or when you first generate a quiz, then it's going to be hidden from your students. What you need to do is return back to the quiz after you've created it and added at least one question and make sure that you say show the item. At this point, we're going to go ahead and go to the assessment, which will allow us to create some questions. As we can see, there's no questions in Quiz 1 at this time. Let's go ahead and select Create Questions. And we'll move down here, and let's start very simple, true and false. So we were going to add a true and false question. When the page refreshes, it's going to say Create True or False Question, and it's going to want a title. What we can say here is we'll say question one. Now the question text, you can enable the HTML creator which will allow you to uh, use a WYSIWYG, a what you see is what you get editor, or you can enter the text yourself and use HTML coding. Um, and so what I'm going to go ahead and do is create a question using none of the more advanced tools and I'm just simply going to say, is it raining? or since this is a true or false question we can say it is raining true or false so you can add an image here and you can browse for it if an image is important to it and the image title is also very important because this will become the alternate description for the image for any student that's going to be using uh, screen reading technology uh, the correct answer, we can select radial buttons for true or false, and currently it is not raining, so I'm going to go ahead and select false. At this point, you can save your questions and move forward, but what we're going to do is explore a few more options. What we have here by selecting more options is general feedback. Now, this could be general feedback to the entire class uh, or to anyone who takes us about this, this specific question section designer notes this is only going to appear to someone who's auditing the course or to another instructor so if you're designing this as a multiple section course you can add your notes here why you chose this question or uh, maybe some variations on what an answer would be acceptable and this is your place to add some of those instructions um, you can add these to uh, a specific category maybe you could have tough easy and, and middle of the road um, you can select your, your categories. You can create categories on the fly and assign them to those categories. What I'm going to go ahead and do is save this question at this point. And, well, of course, it, it wants a category because I had selected create a category. So we'll leave this uncategorized for now. We've saved the question, and we can see now that in our question bank we have one question in quiz one. That will do it for this lesson. We'll come back later on for some more advanced techniques.